everybody welcome to my channel um, first of all I want to wish you a happy new year again um, actually this week is the lunar new year um, it's actually the biggest uh, festival in China and uh, I do wish you um, a good start of the year um, what you have seen just now is actually the different generation of the feeder I've been working on And as you can see here, um, there's a lot of uh, different type of feeder I have been designing. And so the first one is on the right side. It's actually the manual one that I was um, um, designing. And then after that, what's next is actually the, the feeder with the proximity sensor. Um, it's the first uh, auto feeder I have designed. It's using proximity sensor to check the um, nozzle tip um, and then advancing automatically. And afterwards, I actually get the suggestion to um, provide the power through the base plate. And then I designed it, the, the third one. You can see I tried different type of design of um, the third one. And then afterwards, on the leftmost side, is actually the latest design I come up with. I have trying, been trying different design just to make it um, easy to use and stable. So, yeah, I have been through... Um, a lot of different iterations and from here what you can see is actually the, um, the feeder I have integrated um, together with the um, uh, base plate um, I have uh, made two feeders you can see here this is actually the, the latest design I have um, what it uh, differ with the diff with the previous one is that you can see the motor have been moved up to the to the top um, there are two benefits for that one is that um, uh, when moving up the top, this is um, really close to the tape, um, make it, which makes it very easy to load the um, components because you only need to peel off a little bit of the, the tape and then put the plastic cover to here. It's, and I also redesigned it a fixture so it's easy to hold it in place. And in this way, you don't need to waste the component because it's really short. Then you can already use the component here. And then the second, benefit is actually you can see when you move to top here there are space being leave out to um, hold the component hold the tape so basically you can hold longer tape inside the same components so which is uh, really handy and then um, the other feature you can see is actually implemented uh, the push button on the top and this is also very easy to press uh, it's just at the top and I also have a LED indicator here um, to let people know that that user know its um, current status and then um, the function of the push button is actually when people push it it will automatically advance one hole uh, to the correct position so that means when you are loading the component if it's not loaded correctly or you we, we cannot be sure of the position then we just press this button then it will automatically advance to the correct uh, position and then one of the other feature is basically I've implemented the um, Poco pin here and you can see there are more pins um, that's because I want to support the um, orientation detection um, because the user can plug in the feeder in different orientation therefore I just um, implemented that but then um, the hardware is ready uh, the software I still need to implement so this will come later but with all this, um, I think currently this one is uh, working really well and I'm really happy about it. So I will now demo um, how to use those uh, feeders and also together with the OpenPMP because I also implemented the OpenPMP component to automatically um, detect the position of the, the feeders and then set it up the pickup, pickup locations and everything so that you can just use it right away. So. Right now, without further ado, I will just do the do the demo. Okay, so um, I have plugged in the uh, feeder. One of the um, features I want to demo is that uh, the push button. So basically, you can press the button. You can see actually the tape is uh, advancing, um, and then stop right correctly in the correct position and then light up the LED the same also for this one I can just press it then you can see when it reaches the position it actually lights up the LED and you know that it's in position and then also here 
uh, you can see this is uh, uh, the setup that I have. I have done a lot of uh, component testing. Um, in this one is the test PCB I have. It has a 120201 component and also the 120402 component on the outside. So I will just uh, start um, open PMP and then I will um, and let it find the feeder and then do the job. Okay, so now you can see I have already started the open PMP. And the first thing I need to do is I will um, home the device. So after homing, it will um, will go for the home fiducia, and after that, it will just uh, do the calibration of the nozzle tip. Mm. Yeah, and I want to um, show you the feeders here. You can see um, in the feeder tab, there's nothing, but I plug in two. So what I need to do, this is the control board which is uh, representing this this one. So now what I can do is I can go to feeder and say discover feeder. And then you can see it discover right away the, the feeders. And it actually also automatically um, uh, assign the component because it knows that this one is the 0402 because I stored those information into the feeder. So um, we can see now if we move, it move to the position, it will just um, go to the right position and the same for the um, the other one so yeah so this has been automatically set up and uh, also it's automatically set up the pop hitch this is also um, I have been uh, stored in the feeder and also the, the rotation tape is also stored um, but we can say I also implemented the store into a feeder uh, feature. So, for example, if I set here to four millimeter pitch, uh, and then I set I go to here and then save to feeder. So this means the four millimeter millimeter pitch has been saved into the feeder. So if I delete now this feeder, and then I say um, discover, then it will. It will read again the settings, and you can see here the pitch is actually four being stored. So I just need to set the set two again, and then um, uh, do the apply and then uh, save to feeder. In this way, it will be able to just um, uh, save these settings into the feeder. So next time when you load. When you load the feeder, uh, you don't need to say anything, you just need to discover and it will automatically load. Um, the other thing is I haven't implemented uh, because the, um, I don't need the uh, OCR for those uh, feeders because it will automatically get the position. So, okay, now um, everything has been set up. What I need to do is here I go to the job. This is the job I have. I just need to set everything to unpraised. Okay, so now I have loaded the job and then next I will just start the, the job. So we first calibrate the feeders and then it will calibrate the board and then it will start the placement. So you can see actually advanced uh, the tape um, by the open PMP, which is uh, which is also good. So you can see also every second pick you will um, advance the tape. That's because um, the uh, open push pull feeder that I inherit from and it provides this uh, behavior, which is uh, very handy. So I, you can see also I increased the speed. Um, later when the job is done, uh, we will see how fast um, this job is actually 
um, this machine is actually able to place. See the auto one has been done. Then you're actually replacing the nozzle tip to the um, next one for overall two. Then it also do the calibration. I have also redesigned it, the um, change station for the um, overall two components. So yeah, later I will also open it on my um, website. You can have a look there. Now it's uh, picking up the O4 2 component and place them. So I really like the design of this uh, feeder now because it's um, really handy and it's also quite stable. And I have been I put in a lot of uh, effort into the design to make sure that uh, um, there is a certain friction, a certain pressure to press the tape, but also in the meantime it keeps the um, um, friction in the in the range so that it's able to move uh, smoothly. So now it has uh, done the placement, so um, we can actually review the result. And actually this is for uh, um, the overall two component, um, which looks pretty good. You can see actually it's um, centered in the components of O2. That should be okay. And then if you see the O2 O1 components here, um, it's also, I would say, pretty good in position, actually. Yeah, I'm really happy with the placement. And you can see here, it's actually the uh, speed. So right now, it's actually have 236.7 uh, um, parts per hour. So. Um, that is also pretty good. It's um, I mean I increased the speed a little bit, but uh, I didn't really increase them um, like really a lot. So there is uh, still some um, space, and also you can see here as I mentioned the change station I have been um, redesigned. Now it's really uh, smooth, and also the nozzle head I was uh, improving it. Um, this one the nozzle head I improved. Um, to use the friction to hold the nozzle tip uh, instead of uh, clicking before so that make the switching really much much more smooth um, okay maybe we can also have a have a look at the, the placement in here yeah so you can see actually those uh, components those um, um, o 042 and o 201 components in the middle are really nicely placed yeah and it's also quite stable with the the new feeder so yeah this is basically um, integrated and you, you can see um, to start a, to, to identify the feeder to start a job it's really um, uh, very fast you just low let it detect the feeder and then you will be able to do the job um, automatically and for the improved um, nozzle head, I have uh, already assembled some of the nozzle head. Um, basically, it has the, the latest nozzle tip with the friction support, and also it comes with the stepper motor I also put in. And also, I have um, assembled the, the LED control 
and also the camera is included. So I have already assembled, pre-assembled those ones. If you are interested, you can know, you can get from my website. Um, thanks for watching the, the video. Um, I will uh, release the, some new, uh, I will release the new components or into my website. You can uh, check there later. Yep. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.